welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alexandra, a Mexican in Switzerland. And today I'm going to show you how to make a zucchini bacon risotto, which I hope you will enjoy a lot. The ingredients you're going to need for your zucchini bacon risotto are 600 grams of uh, rice for risotto. So it's not your normal rice. You have to buy the special rice, which is used to make risotto. One uh, cubed zucchini, uh, make small cubes. Uh, two onions, which are also cubed very finely. 200 grams of bacon, which I also chopped up in small squares. One and a half cups of white cooking wine. So I already have it measured out over here. Uh, two liters of vegetable stock. I used the Knorr brand, the already pre-made uh, stock. So I added that to two liters of water and um, it's already a pre-made flavor. You can have your homemade vegetable stock if you want, or maybe experiment with chicken stock or whichever flavor you enjoy. And also some olive oil. So it would be about two tablespoons and a big dollop of butter because I love butter. <laughs> okay, so the next steps are you're going to need a big pot and you're going to heat up this pot. And once it's hot, then you're gonna add your butter and your olive oil, about two tablespoons. Uh, the olive oil, what it does is it doesn't let the butter burn, so that's quite good and the butter gives it flavor. Uh, once it's all melted, you add your onions and you saute them. After that, you're going to add the bacon and the zucchini and you're going to stir for about two to three minutes so that the zucchini loses its juices and it gets a little bit tender. After the two, three minutes, then you add your rice and you keep moving. The whole point with risotto is you have to stir a lot and I really mean a lot. You have to be constantly stirring. So once the rice gets shiny, which means it absorbed a bit of the oil and the juices from the zucchini, then you're going to add the wine and you're going to let it simmer away. And again, I repeat, you have to be stirring and stirring and stirring. So once the wine has simmered away, then you start adding your stock. I'm going to use one of these soup ladles and I'm going to add a ladle full at a time. So uh, the wine's evaporated, you add a ladle full of uh, vegetable stock and you stir and you stir and you stir. Once that evaporates, you add another ladleful, and you're going to be doing this for about 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, uh, you can try your risotto to see if it's ready. If it still feels like it's hard, that it needs more time, then you just keep cooking and adding ladlefuls of liquid, but don't add too much liquid. It's always one, and then you keep stirring. Once it absorbs it, you add another one if needed. That's the whole point in the risotto. Very little liquid, it absorbs, you add more, and stirring, stirring, stirring. And well, I hope it all turns out good for you guys. It's very easy and it's delicious.
risotto is finished. As you guys saw in the video, I was like really shaking it. Kind of felt like a witch with my cauldron, <laughs> shaking and shaking and stirring the, the pot. It practically filled up a lot. I mean, with rice, it also happens, obviously. When it absorbs liquid, it gets much, much more. But it, it's certainly enough for four to five hungry people, or in my case, three very hungry guys. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. I'm gonna try it. Let's see how it turned out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy crap, that man, that's good. <laughs> really good. I'm really sure you guys are gonna love the recipe. And I hope you guys make it. And if you do make it, please comment in the video. Uh, tell me your experience, if you enjoyed cooking it, if you would add something else, I mean, Recipes are creations. We each add whatever we want to make it better, to make it more to our liking. So if you guys make it, let me know. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. You really help all YouTubers a lot subscribing. So if you enjoy the recipes, if you enjoy what you see, what I make, subscribe. It's just the little red button, click on it. It's free, it doesn't cost money, it doesn't really cost time, it's half a second. And you help me a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. I hope you make it. You won't regret it, and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please watch the other videos. Just click on the links, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.